Alright guys, I'm back here at the mud flats. I went up on the bridge, checked things out, and um, I saw a good number of carp down here, just going around in the mud, and uh, they look like they're all feeding, so it should be a pretty productive day. Stay tuned, I think we'll get some good fish. <music> Aiden's got his three rods out over there, and I got my three set up right here, so now it's just a waiting game until something comes by, but with all these lines in the water, I'm sure it won't be long. I have this rod literally a foot away from the bank, and something just took it. I'm pretty sure it's off now, but I may as well check. Yeah, it's off. Alright, so this isn't the bait runner. It's a little... Oh no, I'm wrapped around a stick. All right, I've got to get down there and try to get my um, line from off of that stick. Oh, I'm just hoping um, this fish will do it for me. Do you see that stick that it's on? Um, I mean, I can. I'm gonna. I gotta start walking down there towards where that is. And can you bring the net? Oh yeah, you got it. Thank you. This fish isn't pulling too much. It doesn't feel very big. But I still got to get him off of this because if he um this braid running against it, it's making me really nervous that it's gonna break off. As a matter of fact, he's around a whole tree, it looks like. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we still got him. <laughs> yeah, we'll land him here, and then we'll take him over to the landing mat, all right? All right, this actually might be a little nicer fish than I thought. Yeah. All right. This isn't a bad one. Not a bad fish at all. All right, yeah, just get ready, get get ready to grab him. Oh, he's not too big. Come on. All right, good job. <laughs> we got him. Get this nice and wet. There we go though, that is my first carp of the year. Not a bad one at all, got a nice belly on it. All right, here we go on the release with the first carp of the year. Oh, he's missing an eye. Is he really? Yeah. No, it's not. It, it's eye was just down. All right, I'm gonna release the first carp of the year right here. There she goes. All right. <laughs> Oh. Which one? Which one? I think it's. I want to say it's this one. It's gone now. Oh no, it's still on. It's still on. You're here? You gotta wait a minute because we just hooked into one. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh, we're on the. I don't, I don't know how to here, describe. can you pull in that one, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta reel in. I gotta go. I gotta go. 
I gotta go. A little tangled up now. Don't mind the giant surf rod I'm using here. I just am trying to get as many rods out as possible. And this was an extra I had laying around the house, so I figured I'd bring it out. This is a feisty little guy. Alright, there we go. Number two. We were just pulling in the rods, getting ready to head out, and look at that. Second carp came in. I had already filmed the outro and I was ready to leave here and then um this rod just went off. And here we go. Carp number two of the day. Not a monster, but I'm happy with that. That's still a real nice fish. Get the hook out. Get a couple photos of him. Alright, second carp of the day here. Um, I'm pretty happy we have our little redneck unhooking mat here because it is helping these fish out a lot when they're trying to flop around like that. But there we go, second carp. Beautiful little fish. It's not huge, but it's got some real nice colors and um, it's nice and plump pre-spawn carp. Gotta love that red on the tail there. That's my favorite part of these fish. It's super exciting when you see that sticking out of the water. But anyway, nice little fish. Get a couple photos and we're gonna release them. All right, one last view of this carp we just got. And I'm just going to go ahead and release him right over here. Well, that was definitely not the most graceful release, but that guy just flopped right in my, out of my hand. Anyways, he's fine. All right, guys. Well, we ended up doing pretty well out here on Lock Raven for early in April. This water temperature is still pretty cool. And I think as, um, as time goes on here in the next few weeks, I'm going to start getting a lot better numbers and bigger fish. So I'll be able to get out some better content. But anyways... I appreciate you guys watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.